Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks Career Survival. This is episode number 47 in our Hardcore series. Last episode, we just about finished off our mining truck that you can see right here. And today, I'd like to build some sort of coal car to go for our train. So we can transport all the ore that we'll be mining to a cell point, which would be really nice. Yeah, with all that being said, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so the first thing I'd like to do before we start building our coal car is I would like to put a fuel gauge in. It's very important for the fuel we have on board here. Let's paint that red and we'll take that to, I think we have a gauge in here. No, we want to go to the, the level for the fuel here. So we'll name that fuel. Nice. Okay, now we're not going to run out, hopefully. 1,000 liters on there and we'll just wire that one in like that. Okay, nice. We'll save that. Okay, now I would like to use this size, I think. So we can have all the carriages the same, I think would be pretty good. Uh, so, we're going to take off all the container bits that we had on here. We'd better leave those on, I think. I think we should leave these on, just for now anyway, because we're going to need them at some point. Okay, so, I'm not sure. We'll just, um, get rid of all these bits, and on the back. Okay, that's all the container stuff, I believe. Okay, so, what we're going to do is we're going to put some blocks along here. We're going to put some upside down wedges on that, like this, <laughs> all the way along. And we'll do the same going up this way. Turn those, definitely not like that, and like that, all the way down here. We're going to bring them back to here, chuck some of these on, upside down, and we'll fill that in along here, like that. So they're going to be one back further, but then we have a hole here, don't we? Maybe we can just put some more wedges in there, that'd be right. Okay, and we'll do the same down this end uh, with these, the two by twos, um, like that, and bring that along, like so, yes. And then what we'll do is we'll fill in all this bottom bit, because this is what we're going to sit all our hoppers on top of, so something like that. And while we're here, we better fill in these wedges here. Um, so that will go, oh, these is what we need, they'll go along like that, yep. Perfect, so now there's not really a hole there. Oh, there sort of is actually. No, that should be right. We'll do the same down the end here. Whoop, just like uh, that. Yes, perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to open up the side here. I was gonna leave those bits there, but they gotta come out now. Uh, we've gotta make a spot for selling it when we get to the other end. So, fill that in. I think that is the middle of the train right here which is perfect, so I'm just gonna paint under here. That's the very middle right there. Okay, so we're going to put a mineral duct right here. Actually, it's gonna come up one, isn't it? Like that, maybe. Yep, and then we can put a funnel on the bottom of that. Is that gonna to touch the ground when we're going along the rail? Let's go and check. Is that a little bit too low? It might come up one more. Might come up one more block actually because I don't want it to hit anything. Uh, if we get rid of that and we'll put it there and we'll take that and put that there. That might be a bit better. Perfect. Okie dokie. So we're going to have hmm, three of these, I think. That should be okay. Hopefully the selling point's <laughs> big enough to hold all these. We'll put that there and that there. Okay, uh, we'll paint that again. And like that, may as well. Awesome. So now we have these on the top. So how tall should we make this whole thing? Should we come up one and then have the mineral hoppers on top of that? Or is that a bit too tall? Maybe we could just have it sit on top of all this. We could have it just like that. And then the carriage won't be all that tall. That might be okay, actually. I think we'll do that. All right, I'll fill in all the base of this and I'll be right back. All right, perfect. Just like that. So, now on the bottom of here, I'd like to be able to actually see where the hoppers are. So, maybe if we went like this and we put some wedges on under here, then we can see that's the area where we need to have it over the hopper bit where we sell it. That should be fine. Maybe, you know what, we can even paint these yellow so we can see them. That might be all right. Just like that. So, if we look under there, we can see where they are. Okay, so let's put some blocks all up around the sides of these things, like so. You know, maybe we could come up one more actually, yeah. Should be fine. Just like this, and we'll cover in the front and the back also. 
and we'll get some little wedges like this and that and like that we have something like that as it looks okay i suppose <laughs> and like this oopsie oh like that and we'll fill in that area as well okie dokie now we need some more cable to put on these carriages since we removed it before we can just go oh we'll just put it on one side like this boom and boom perfect paint that and that all right Nice. Now, what colors should we make the top of this carriage? Hmm. Let's save it first as a coal car. Like so. Alrighty. And we might go get the color of the train, actually. So if we go maybe this blue. Can we save that blue? We'll just put it down the bottom there. Okay. We'll load back in our coal car. And we'll get our blue out and the paint. Like this. And we'll paint the whole thing this color. Yep. Or, you know what, we could probably put a bit of yellow on it too to make it exactly the same. The bottom of that. And we'll go to the top as well. And you better do the inside. Yes. And is that all of it? That looks like the majority of it. Okay, so where are we going to put the yellow? Should we put the yellow on the front and back just like the actual train? That could be all right. And we'll just do all along there then. Ah, not that bit. And we're not doing both sides. Nice. Cool. <laughs> um, that comes past too. Okay. We'll paint all that so it's the same all the way around. And we can bucket tip that bit there. Okay. And we better do it on the top as well. And we well do the inside like that. And that is on that side. All right. So we have yellow there. And then there's got to be a yellow strip along the bottom. Maybe we can have it like this. Okay. Go like that all around the sides and then it comes out too like that awesome and we'll paint the top and the inside of that as well like that okay that should all work now we'll just put a battery on it or a couple batteries to we'll have the two like we usually have but we'll put them up here this time and i'll connect up all the power not that there's too much of that but anyway um the connector what's that there the cable anchor it's quite an important bit and all the way down to the front okie dokie and also these things i might make them a bit weaker as well maybe down to even 20. i might make the yeah, 20 we'll do 20 for all of these okay they're all at size 20. i'm just wondering if we should put some wedges in like that as well might do that looks just a little bit better yeah that's pretty cool all right let's um save that as the coal car and we'll spawn it in yeah, nice. <laughs> it looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Okay, it all still works though. We have our cables on the side. We can see where the hoppers are right there. So hopefully they fit over the uh, little cell point at the other end just fine. Okie dokie. How much fuel we got too? 11,000 liters. Nice. It's pretty good. Okay, we'll return this. Okay, now we need to get rid of this train. We need to get rid of all this. So we're going to have to reverse it all the way back. And then drive it into the return area. So we need to come into number two, don't we? So that should... We need to make these buttons work the right way. All right, we need the train to go back. Yeah, and then go on the right-hand side. Yeah, and where is that sign facing? We need to make it go straight, don't we? Yes. Okay, let's see what it's saying. Oop. So no, that's not what we want. We want it to go that way. And then... That stays green, I think. That's what we want. Okie dokie, let's jump in this old thing. So, we got enough battery to turn her on. I can't even see inside. He turned the lights on. Like that. Okay. Brakes off. Throttle up. Yes. Spool it up. Let's go backwards. No. Wrong way. Reverse. Yes. Okay. We need to go back. Hopefully, that all works as planned. Whoa. Okay, we just got to keep an eye on where it's all going. Yep. And move over again. Perfect. All right. Nice. Let's break. Hurt. <laughs> Okie dokie. And then we'll turn reverse off. Release the brakes and we'll come forward. Without smashing into the place, hopefully. That'd be ideal. So we'll keep it coming. So this should take us straight in. Nice. Release the clutch. And we'll just roll till we're in the spawn zone. Oh. Yeah, I want to come in a little bit more. Stop. 
Oh, surely that didn't. Surely. How close is that? <laughs> nice. Okay, so can we take that all back now? Should be able to, surely. It's in the edit zone. Too many vehicles. Ah, can I? Okay, release this. We'll put the cable. Does the cable go in here anywhere? Yeah, right there. So can I, am I strong enough to push this back? <laughs> yeah, apparently. That's weird. Okay, uh, we'll just keep giving it a big push and edit that. Sweet. Get rid of it. <laughs> Bye. All right, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Come back. Okay, I might disconnect this as well. Uh, uh, like that. And we'll put this back, actually. May as well. Oh, oh they get tangled. Put that back in there. Okay, we'll push this one forwards all the way in. And that should be fine. And we'll catch up to it and take it back. Awesome. That's the other one. And we've got one more to go. All right, and get rid of that one as well. Awesome. Okay, so we should be right to spawn in our new train now. There is one more little thing I would like to add to the coal car. Alrighty guys, so here is our Biza logo, which I'm going to put on the side of our vehicles. So we'll put it on the side of the trains to begin with. Should be pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll grab all that. Nice. Actually, you know what we could do? Probably get rid of that bit there and that bit. Can I grab that? Like that. Yep, perfect. We'll copy that. Um, so the tool that you use for that, I'll link down below so you guys can use it too if you like with your own logos or whatever. It'd be pretty cool. And we'll put that down in here and we'll move it into the train and move it along in the center. We'll paste that right there. We'll move it along, turn it around and chuck it in the side of there. Perfect. We'll merge them together like that. And all the black on here, I'd like to change to this blue if we can. Yep, perfect. All right, let me go through and do all that. And boom, sweet, that's all finished, that looks cool. I like it, that looks awesome. Okay, and we'll quickly paint up the sides in here. Awesome, okay, now we're talking. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to grab, copy that, so now we can put that on, oh wait, we should actually probably save that as the coal car. And we're gonna go put that on the train also right here. So we'll do the same on both sides. Oh, where are we gonna put it on here? Hmm. Maybe we'll get rid of that center window like that. We'll put it in between. Oh, it's not going to fit there. Oh, we'll have to put it there. That'd be fine. Get rid of that middle window. It'll matter. And we'll paste that there. And we'll do the same on this side. Put it right there. And pop. And pop. Nice. Cool. That looks awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. We'll move these windows back as well. Put them there just so it's an even number between the two. So we've got two spaces. And now we should probably paint the inside of this back to that color like that. Yes. And a normal paintbrush. Oh, okay. We've got Bizza logo on the side. That's pretty cool. We'll save that as the train. All right. Let's um, spawn it all in, see how it looks. Oh, no. Yes. Well, we can move this forward. Then we've got to finish off the carriage, actually. I forgot to add the release thing for it. <laughs> so we'll turn this thing on. We need this thing anyway to attach them together. And she's spooled up. All right, let's go forwards. Oh, not so fast. Just about here should be fine. Turn it back off. Okay. Whoop. Uh, okay, cool that is. That's awesome. All right, let's go down and we'll add that little release button on uh, to our coal car. So we'll get it back out. Here it is. So we need a toggle button on here. We'll just put it all on the one side, I guess. There, and we'll put a dial on so we know how much is in there. Perfect. And we'll paint those up and the top of that as well. It's probably a good idea. All right. Um, connect that to power. Boop, boop. And the button can do the release like that and the dial can tell us the level. Yep, okay, cool. So we'll change this to um, all level, and this is the release. Okay, and also change that to just 100 on the dial. Perfect, okay. Um, we could probably paint the button and the dial red. Awesome, that's really nice. Okay, save that as the cold car. 
Sweet, let's spawn it in. That looks awesome. That looks so good. All right. Oh, you know what we should do? Replace all the blue. I wonder what that would look like. We could put all the blue as this blue. What if we did that? Replace it. Oh, there's that. Uh, what did I just do? Let's see what it looks like anyway. Oh, I think that looks pretty good, actually. That looks very good. Maybe we should do that. Replace all that blue on our train and everything to this. That looks pretty nice. It makes the Bizzle logo fit in pretty cool as well. Yeah, that looks really good, actually. We might do that. I'm going to save it like that. It's the coal car. And again, I'm going to go get this train. And we're going to return it and change the blue on this also. Return that back here. And I'll swap all the blue over. Okie dokie. Very cool. That looks good. I'm happy with it. We'll save that. There's the train. All right, now we can sport it in again. <laughs> All right, let's get back in our seat. Turn her on. Go forwards as soon as it turns on. We got a nice blue door. All right, it's turned on. Let's come off that. Let's come forwards. And we'll just park about here. That'd be right. Sweet. We'll leave the train running for the moment. Look at that. Nice. We'll turn this on, the little connector. Sweet. I also forgot to make those less sensitive, but anyway, we've done it to the trailers anyway. The, the coal car, and we'll grab one of those. Hello, spawner in. Yes, we'll turn that connection on, and I think we might just push this thing out there. I can't really be bothered to reverse the train, to be honest. Okay, it's getting closer. That connector's already on. All right, a little bit more of a push. Yeah. Okay, we're getting close now. Hopefully they're squishy enough to allow it to not glitch out like last time. Oh, a bit more of a push, I think. Yeah. Okay, sweet. That should work. Let's really see what's going on. Yep. Awesome. Perfect. That's really cool. Okay, we'll connect up the cable. There. Okay. So how much is in there now? There's 121 in the carriage. So that's all right. That's a very low carriage, isn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, well. Okay, let's turn on the rear one as well. Boop. And we're going to get one more. And it's very close. All the connectors are on. It should just couple together perfectly. Boop. Yes. Nice. Very nice. So now we need a cable from the side of here. And we'll plug that into that. Like this. And there. Very nice. All right. Let's have a look at that from photo mode, actually. See what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Oh, get rid of that. That looks really good. I'm very happy with it. Should we do one more carriage as well? I wonder if we should put one more in. Nah, we just have the two. That should be fine. Alrighty, bit of a quicker episode today, but I think that's alright. We've done what we needed to do. <laughs> I think it looks very good. And next episode, we're going to grab our little truck and we're going to go up and do some coal mining. Um, I know that's not all that profitable, but I would like to do it anyway. And if it's really, really not worth it, we might go down to the bigger island down here. And I'm not sure if it works the same or not, but it should do. We can mine some of the ores that are down here. Hopefully we get a bit more money. Looks like we can, yeah, a lot of selling here. Maybe we could go and visit there and see if there's some train tracks. Anyway, that's all good and well. All right, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode when we go mining.